Okay guys, today we have, I would say, our greatest ever episode of Smartphone Gadgets, and as always, we're trying a few new things with the format of the video, so if you do enjoy it, be sure to drop a like, and with that being said, let's get started. Is it a coaster? Is it an NFC tag? Well, gadget number one is actually both of those things. In one pack, you actually get five of these pretty delightfully colored little discs, and each one contains a unique NFC chip, which means that when your phone comes into contact with them, you can program any number of outcomes. It could be to adjust things on the phone, like its brightness, like the app that is open right now, or you could even make a call to someone in particular. Or, what I would say is even cooler, is if your smartphone is connected to your smart home, you could control the lights. Now, from the same company that brought us the smartphone projector, we've got the smartphone magnifier, which has a removable tray which comes with this grippy pad inside, and you just place your smartphone on it, slide it back in, and you're pretty much good to go. It triples the size of your phone's display. When all the lights are on around you, it's a very cool experience, but suffers from quite a bit of glare. But turning the lights off, and this thing goes from a cool little novelty to what I would say is a game changer. Connect your phone to a Bluetooth speaker, whack it in here, and this is the best screen magnification I've ever seen. Okay, this one's a little bit different. By the brand new company Infinity Links, this is the Wave. And it claims to be the world's smallest and sleekest cable bracelet. The idea is pretty simple. It doubles as a fashion accessory and a cable for your phone, so that when you're out and about, you don't really need to think about always bringing one with you. And credit where due, there is a lot of flexibility here. You can choose from USB Type-C, Lightning, Micro USB. You can choose a band that wraps around your hand once, or one that goes around twice. And there's also quite a few choices when it comes to color variation. As a bit of a contrast to all these small, tidy gadgets we've been looking at, this next one is a behemoth. What you are looking at right now is a 90-watt, 10-port USB charging station. So each of these 10 USB ports on here supports 2.4 amp fast charging. And it doesn't end there. It's also got this non-slip padded deck on the side, which unfortunately I kind of wish it did, doesn't wireless charge, but it's a great place to place a wireless charger. All right, remember those lovely little coasters we talked about at the beginning of the video? Well, they're great, but if you didn't want something in that kind of form factor, this handy little ring does the same thing. So built inside of this is an NFC chip, and it's not the prettiest piece of jewelry by a long shot. I'd be pretty wary of buying this as a gift for someone, but at the same time, functionally speaking, it does the same thing. All right, you might be thinking, I've already seen something like this. I've seen a magnetic charging cable. And you probably have, but the difference here is that this one kit comes with not only a nice little presentation bag, but also three different connectors. When you buy the cable, you get a micro USB, USB Type-C, and a lightning connection, which means that if you're one of those people that uses an Apple device and an Android device, you get the benefit of not only one cable to charge them all, but also reversible magnetic charging on both those devices. Okay, you might be thinking, Aaron, what is this alien looking device you're showing us now? Well, I gotta say, this thing has the best name of any product on the list. This is the Spider Podium. And on some basic level, it gives you the combined functionality of a smartphone stand and a Gorillapod. It's got these eight incredibly adjustable, but also rigid legs, which you can use to create a pretty traditional looking stand or just go crazy. Pretty much anything you can think of using these eight legs, you can do. All right, we all know USB drives are not the most interesting topic to talk about, but this one, as you can probably tell, is a little bit different. It is a dual-sided drive, one with a micro USB and one with a full-size USB, which actually supports USB 3.0. And it's as simple as it looks. One side plugs into your phone, use it to transfer data, and you can plug it directly into your computer. So it's kind of like that one drive you need for both of your devices. You might have spied this product earlier on in the video when I talked about the charging stand. And as you probably guessed, it's a wireless charger. And to be honest, reading its spec sheet, not even that special a wireless charger. It does support fast wireless charging, but apart from that, there's nothing crazy going on. I just think the design is fantastic. I think the combination of the wood on top, the metal frame, and the chrome accents, as well as just how slim it is, really make it stand out from the wireless charger market. 
Hmm. This is probably the strangest looking item on the list, and is in fact a stereoscopic 3D imager. You simply rest it on top of the camera on your smartphone, and it can take photos that you could stick on a Google Cardboard headset and enjoy in 3D. And what could make that even cooler? Oh yeah, it works on videos too. Okay, bit of a bonus on this video, I wouldn't exactly count this as a gadget as such, but these little cable protectors can supposedly protect your cables from 90% of damage. And they're stupidly inexpensive, so to be honest, if you're one of those people who always ends up with broken cable necks, you might as well invest a little now. Alright guys, if you've stuck it out this long, I'm guessing, hoping you enjoyed the video, and if so, I've got plenty more smartphone gadgets for you to take a look at, so I'm going to leave them as cards above. And also, if you're new to the channel, it would be incredible if you could smash that subscribe button down below, that would really be appreciated. With that being said, my name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'm signing out.